PCIe lane switching occurs when lanes are switched from one slot on a motherboard down to another. The most common configuration is the by 16 slot with 16 lanes, having eight lanes switched down to another by 16 slot in by eight mode, or having those eight lanes switched to two additional M.2s. Switching lanes from the by 16 slot is a pretty effective way to use the 25 lanes from your CPU for other devices. Because PCI Express is an efficient protocol, most of the time, the majority of lanes in a by 16 slot aren't being used. It'll drop down to the amount of lanes that are needed for the amount of data being transferred. Most of the processing that occurs is either done on the GPU or the CPU, and the demand of data transferred between those two devices is much less than what's currently offered with Gen 5. So the main thing you want to find out is whether your use case requires the data transfer rates that are available from 16 lanes. Because you have a by 16 slot with all 16 lanes, doesn't mean that when data needs to be transferred, it throws all 16 lanes at that transfer. It'll only use the lanes that are needed. It might be one or two in some cases. So if we take Gen 5 with a transfer rate for one lane of 32 gigatransfers per second, that equals about four gigabytes per second per lane in each direction. Most use cases today don't require anywhere near that amount of data to be transferred. If you looked at a system with 32 gigabytes of RAM, 16 Gen 5 lanes could transfer the entire data in your RAM twice per second. The majority of x870 boards will have lane switching because USB 4 uses four of your CPU lanes. The only way to add additional M.2s directly connected to the CPU is with lane switching.